with our office. This is one of our realized projects in Rotterdam last year. You might uh, see on internet or in real life. It's a market building combined with housing. And we are an architecture office. We design many things, from building urban planning products to research, and we publish books, we give lecture and studio in school. So we design a lot. And today I'm going to uh, take you walk through, actually run through our seven years project, the vertical, the vertical village, in the next 15 minutes. So it starts in 2009. We are uh, invited by a private foundation, the Jet Foundation in Taipei, Taiwan. And it's a developer. They had this private foundation. And they are very smart they, because they are developer. They are in Taipei. So they have many lands in, in the city in different locations. And when the land is waiting for to uh, be developed, they use the land to build a temporary museum. And they call the museum for to, up tomorrow. So they built a temporary space. And every three months, they travel. So we were invited after this artist. He used this land uh, and grow the rice patty because this area like 20 years ago was still found then. So it's very, very nice uh, installation for one year to bring people, urban people to kind of reveal the history of the urban life in the past. So we were thinking, what can we do after this nice uh, exhibition? and especially in this dense um, city. Then we had a site tour through the city. We look around. This is the Taipei. And you see the building mostly built for the that last tw uh, two, three decades. And the more than this looks similar. You see the facade. Sometimes they made some different design, make some efforts. And I'm originally from this city, but I'm not really proud of the result for the architecture product. And we also did a lot of project in Asia. This is one of the South Center in China. You see the new project or urban plan in, in the city, and they try to sell you the pro products that, that you might live for your next life. Then the couple, they are looking through the brochure. They can choose the products for their, their new home. But what you can choose is from A to B, they actually look similar. Then we wonder, what can you provide for the Asian people, the urbanization, where is the individuality? So we were given of this site to make a, a museum for tomorrow. And the, as the beginning we know, they were tore down this little uh, round down housing and make two towers. Then it reminds us this image you see uh, sometimes on newspaper. This is uh, the building in China. They refuse to move out in this urban block. Then we look around in Taipei or in Taiwan also, you see this uh, sort of illegal roof added place. And normally you are there, the city or citizens are not so proud with that. But let's remind us our work in Rotterdam. It's a result of people doesn't have enough space, so they need to build extra space for their living. So they, in that sense, they don't have to move to suburban. They can stay in the city with their kids. So we come up with this idea of the vertical village. So how can we provide alternative for the citizen, for Asian people, to stay in the city but rem remain their old way of living lifestyle? Then we propose this to our clients, the foundation. They like it. And as a result, we go wild with showing the individual character. We made 24 different houses with different shapes to enhance the individuality and different idea of living. And it was planned to build in real scale, one to one. And just like many other uh, projects you might receive for the design commission, the, it's what they went through for the budget and regulation issue. So we end up having this one to 10 scale of sculpture for the exhibition. But luckily, during these three years uh, preparation, 
we had a, a few, uh, because of the time to, to wait, so we have the, enough time to do the research for this exhibition. So we, I will quickly go through the chapter with this exhibition. We end up in um, published the book in 2011, in both in English and in Chinese. So we start at the beginning of showing a series of uh, video work showing nine different Asian cities, how it was uh, changed through time. From the Google map, you see they uh, clean up their old, small, uh, low dense buildings and replaced by the big towers. And we call it block attack. They are attacking the city in different way and for the reason they need to densify or for the reason they need to replace the, uh, build the nicer or they say modern neighborhood. And it shows like, almost like uh, the video uh, again. You can see from the facade from the nice cities, if I take off the tag, you can't really tell who is who because they more or less look the same. Even the interior when they try to sell you the new home, they also look the same. Then the, from interior to exterior, from the way they sell the products, we wonder, can you imagine the next uh, future in an Asian city? Are they more or less going to look more like Hong Kong? So we try to uh, analyze nine different, randomly pick nine different major cities. The red you can read as uh, black attack. They are attacking the city, replace the small scale uh, neighborhoods. Then we try to map them and do the research. We uh, analyze and try to uh, show the survivor. So they survive within different reasons. They have uh, either culture or different perspective. They turn the city, protect them, turn into a museum. Or sometimes they just stay, but maybe the next five years they have to remove. And we wonder why we like them. So also why uh, the, how the citizens uh, feel. So we invite one documentary uh, director in Taipei, he uh, interviewed five families, and one of them, uh, we did some research also how the people move within Taipei City with the reason. And this family, they are temporarily renting a house on the rooftop. But meanwhile, they are waiting, they are trying to find their ideal home. But they look around, they had difficulty to find an uh, ideal home within their budget, also what the city can, can provide. Then we try to, uh, from this we try to learn what this nice city, why we like this small scale neighborhood. So we try to evaluate, not just about feeling, we try to find a more systematic way to to show uh, why we like it, with what kind of uh, value people share in these Asian neighborhoods, and what makes them dif dif different and special. So we map few uh, catalogs, and through these values, we try to create a tour. And this tour, actually, we think will help us to design, maybe if we want to design a neighborhood which can represent the vertical village idea, then they have to somehow fit this sort of uh, identities. Then we went wild to think, because it's an exhibition for general public, so we want to uh, attract people not only in architectural field, also just general public to think what could be in your future life. So we make a very uh, friendly software. It's more or less like uh, IKEA Kitchen. So you can uh, go through the uh, website, then you can select your ideal house in different shape, different uh, material. And then after this quick session, you can print your house in five minutes. And maybe you can find architect who can build it. Then 
during these three years' time, we met a few research studios, also master class, together with school in Taiwan and also in Holland. So this is an 11 days workshop in Bellas Institute. We try to group students in six groups, and each group represents one idea. They can be e economic, structure, green, different idea, and they have to protect their own value. So through this value, they, they uh, design a village, and the next day they hand into the other group. Because our idea, the idea of village, uh, vertical village is a community, you can grow in time. So that's the uh, practice we try to give to students. How can a village grow in time with different user, different idea and values? Then we also have a studio in Jakarta, because Jakarta compared to the other cities, nine, eight cities, we, it's still sold out for low density. So we try to map them what kind of spatial village they have and what kind of value they might get. And they can, for instance, this is one of the herb village, and we try to enhance the value. Maybe if they're strong enough, then you don't have to be replaced by the block towers. Then we uh, also have one design studio in TU Delft. That there are five groups. They make uh, very nice, beautiful work. Imagine different way of vertical village can grow in time in different system, uh, including structure. So these are the beautiful models through the workshop uh, studio results. So there's uh, the second software we uh, produce during the exhibition. We call it Master Ma uh, Village Maker. It's a uh, software, not just different than the house maker, but this is software try to uh, teach people as a citizen what kind of neighborhood you can build. If you want to live in the ver vertical village, uh, what do you need to uh, prepare yourself? You have budget, you have uh, what kind of regulation you might uh, have to be aware of. And it's a friendly software which uh, you can choose and you immediately see your building. You can get your house maker product and uh, insert in this software. Then you can see the, uh, where can be the light, the potential, and the distance you have to be with your uh, neighbors. Then because the village has different setting, so you have to uh, see your the result together with your neighbors. So it can lead of a different uh, different products through this uh, software practice. Then of course we made a film to kind of uh, bring people in this dreamy vertical village. So it was uh, in Taipei in 2011. The sculpture was made in fiberglass. And that time was really popular, especially for the general public. Then uh, the whole exhibition was invited to travel to Seoul. And in Seoul, we actually use the same idea, the whole exhibition, and we extend a bit the research with the Seoul application, and we publish the book in Korean also. Then the set was a bit smaller, but made in uh, metal, stainless steel. Then in 2013, the whole exhibition was traveled to, back to Europe. This was the first uh, exhibition invite non-European project in IBA. So we, uh, we actually represent the, of the Taipei city, and we extend our research also based on the Taipei application. So the whole uh, the model you will see later in the Koya is the same set. It's uh, met together with the Belgian company, Six Inch. It's made by phone. So it can turn into the furniture. Then we have the, uh, the same material with uh, a bit of extension. Then show the whole research in Hamburg. And we also, that time, we made an application on the Taipei set.
And again, the furniture, the sculpture we show in Milan last year, it's a launch on, online, which you can buy, you can make your own design, then you can choose your color, you can place indoor and outdoor. So since then, we keep this set of furniture in, the, in the, our office. It was used in different purpose. People sleep, sit, play with it. And the one remarkable thing is after this research, the idea of a vertical village kind of influenced our way of doing project design uh, in, within the office. So you can see here and there we have uh, uh, projects have the influence by the idea of vertical village. The skyscrapers, skyscrapers can also be part of this idea of individualism. And we will also have the kind of sister project in Hutong, Beijing. It's a, a block of Hutong area. The government doesn't know what to do. So they invite 10 architects, we are one of them to give a proposal last year how to renew the whole block. So we have this similar idea of uh, vertical village, but only this time we didn't go vertical. So because we think that should stay in a small scale, but within a small scale you should be different. You should show the diversity of the needs of people. Then the in nice part is the clients and the government, the Beijing city, likes the idea a lot. So now we are actually building uh, two Hutong house based on the concept we proposed last year. So you will see our sculpture later during the break, a break at the courtyard. I hope you enjoy it and then uh, have th thought about the story behind this colorful element. Thank you. <laughs>